Joyful Adventure on its channel. Today's episode takes us on a nostalgic journey through the lost pubs of Yardley Wood in Birmingham. We'll be exploring the histories and memories surrounding several former local pubs including the Bagnall Arms, the Valley, the Warstock, the Prince of Wales, the Haven slash Mercury, the Sherlock, the Maypole, and the Dog and Partridge. Pubs have long been a cherished part of British culture and community life. They served as neighborhood gathering spots for people to socialize, catch up on news, and forge memories over a pint. The loss of these establishments represents more than just closed businesses. It's the fading of shared spaces that connected people. As we take a virtual tour through Yardley Wood, you'll hear anecdotes and see old photos and ephemera that capture the spirit of these defunct locals. We'll discuss the role pubs played, the reasons some closed, and the imprint they've left on the area's heritage. So settle in, grab your favorite beverage, and let's raise a glass to the lost pubs of Yardley Wood as we go on this joyful adventure to revive their stories. Cheers! Hello and welcome to another video on my Joyful Adventure Audits channel. Today I'm standing outside the former site of the Bagnell Arms Pub on School Road in Yardley Wood, Birmingham. This pub opened in 1960 and was part of the Mitchells and Butler's chain. It closed its doors in 2001 and was demolished soon after to make way for this McDonald's restaurant that now stands here. The Bagnell Arms is just one of many local pubs that have closed over the last couple of decades. At one time, this area had a thriving pub culture, but today only a handful remain. Nearby pubs like the Prince of Wales, the Haven, the Valley, and the Maypole have all been knocked down in recent years. The loss of so many pubs is due to a combination of factors, the UK smoking ban made many traditional pubs less appealing, the economic downturn and rising living costs have reduced spending on nights out, and changes in social habits have seen younger generations frequent bars and clubs over their local. The pandemic was the final nail in the coffin for some pubs already struggling to stay open. It's a real shame to lose these community meeting places. I have fond memories of visiting many of these lost pubs over the years. The nearest surviving pubs are now places like the Horseshoe on Alcester Road, the Lodge in Solihull Lodge, and DJ Quinn's on Highfield Road. At least the local Yardley Wood Social Club is still running. The loss of the Bagnell Arms and other local pubs reflects wider changes taking place in the UK pub industry. Many suburban and rural pubs are struggling with closures now commonplace. But the traditional British pub is still an important institution, and I hope we don't lose even more of these iconic community spaces. Let me know in the comments if you have any memories of the Bagnell Arms or other lost pubs in this area. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos documenting this constantly changing urban landscape. Hello fellow explorers. In this video we are revisiting the site of the iconic Valley Pub, formerly located on the corner of Yardley Wood Road and Haunch Lane. Built in 1927 and designed by architects Wood and Kendrick, the Valley Pub served the community well before closing its doors for good and getting demolished in 1996. During its heyday, the Valley Pub was a popular neighborhood haunt for generations of locals. 
No doubt many stories, celebrations, and conversations were shared within its walls through the decades. Sadly, not enough foot traffic and revenue in its final years eventually sealed the pub's fate. Now replaced by an apartment block, there is little trace this was once a bustling community pub. Waves of closures. Of course the Valley Pub was not the only classic pub in Yardley Wood to shut down. As we've explored in other videos, the Bagnall Arms, the Warstock, the Haven aka the Mercury, and the Maple have also since been demolished after closure. Pubs everywhere have faced increasing struggles to stay viable amidst various economic and social changes over the last 30 years. While the physical buildings may be gone, it's important we keep their heritage alive. I welcome anyone who ever stopped by for a pint at the Valley Pub or any other lost bars in this area to share your fondest memories and stories in the comments. This helps memorialize beloved community spaces that no longer stand thanks to the passage of time. Check out our channel for more videos documenting vanished architecture and culture across the West Midlands. Until next time, Joyful Adventure Audits bidding you farewell. Unfortunately, that concludes our look back at the former Valley Pub here at Yardley Wood Road and Haunch Lane. We hope preserving the legacy of this 1927 community fixture can inspire conversations about cherishing historic spaces before they disappear. Be sure to check out our entire Lost Pubs of Yardley Wood series for more trips down memory lane. We also explore vanished places like the Tudor Cinema that once brought entertainment to Haunch Lane as well. If you want to see more nostalgic videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribing is 100% free and helps support our preservation work here on Joyful Adventure Audits. All you need is a Google or YouTube account to subscribe and see new videos when they are released. Thanks so much for watching and for any memories you choose to share in comments of the Valley Pub or other lost local gems. Check the video description for links and feel free to follow our adventures across Birmingham's fading history. Until next time, cheers! Welcome to my channel. Today we're exploring the history behind the name Maple in Birmingham and looking back at the beloved Maple and pub that once stood in this area. The Origins of Maple While many link the name to the traditional maple dancing, there was never actually a physical maple monument in Birmingham. As the city expanded in the late 18th century, this spot became an important road junction for travelers. The maple name refers to a tall signpost that directed people coming through the crossroads. The Maple Pub In the 1930s, the Maple and Pub opened its doors near this junction. With its bright facade, the pub became a welcoming beacon along the dark and remote Alcester Road. For decades, the Maple Inn served as a community focal point and bus terminus, drawing in locals and passers-by. After the Maple Inn closed in 2002, the iconic building was sadly demolished. In its place now stands a retail complex. Though the original pub is gone, we can still spot hints of its history. 
While only memories remain of the physical Maple Inn, we can still celebrate its role in Birmingham's local history. Please share any stories or photos you have from this bygone pub. Though bittersweet, we can reminisce about the good times had here over the years. That wraps our look at the origins of Birmingham's Maple and the much-loved Maple Inn pub. Be sure to subscribe for more local history. Thanks for watching. Outside the Shops is a heritage board with information about the history of the Maple. And remarkably, an actual Maple is still located on the grounds along with a bench if you need to take a break from dancing. While only memories remain of the physical Maple Inn, this Maple remains helps keep its legacy alive. We can still celebrate the pub's role in Birmingham's history. I love looking back at classic pubs from the past, like the Maypole Inn we explored today. Even when the physical buildings are gone, their stories live on through our memories and photos. I'd love to feature more beloved lost pubs from across the UK. If there are other demolished or closed pubs you have fond memories of, please let me know in the comments. Share the name, location, and any historical details or personal anecdotes about what made that pub special. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join me on more journeys through pub history. By subscribing, you'll help me continue documenting and preserving the stories of iconic pubs, both past and present. Thanks so much for watching today's video on Birmingham's Maple Inn. With your suggestions and support, we can keep celebrating more pubs just like this one. Cheers until next time. Welcome to the Joyful Adventure Audits channel. Today, we're going to explore the former site of the Warstock pub, which was located at the junction of Yardleywood Road and Prince of Wales Lane in Birmingham. The Warstock pub has now been demolished, and an apartment block has taken its place. However, the pub sign is still present, although faded and hanging. This sign is a remnant of the pub's history, and it serves as a reminder of the rich pub culture that once thrived in this area. The name Warstock is derived from the Old English words Hustoxy, which translates to grey, hoary, meaning white with age or ancient, and tree stump or log. It's believed that this name either referred to an ancient boundary marker or simply meant ancient farm. The area where the Warstock pub stood was once the meeting point of the manors of Kings Norton, Solihull, and Yardley, adding to its historical significance. The Warstock pub, previously a Courage Brewery establishment in the 1980s, was one of many pubs that once dotted this neighborhood. Sadly, over the years, most of these pubs have closed and been demolished, leaving only a few survivors. The Bagnell Arms, the Haven, later known as the Mercury, the Valley, and the Maple have all met the same fate as the Warstock pub. While some pubs, like the Dog and Partridgey, now a church, and the Prince of Wales, being replaced by a nursing home, have found new purposes, the area has undoubtedly lost a significant part of its pub culture. The nearest surviving pubs are now the Horseshoe on Alcester Road, the Lodge in Solihull Lodge, DJ Quinn's, formerly Bean's Bar and originally the Sherwood, on Highfield Road, and the Yardleywood Social Club at the northern end of Prince of Wales Lane. The decline of pubs in this area is a reflection of the hard times that many traditional pubs have faced in recent years. Changing social habits, rising costs, and competition from other establishments have all contributed to the closure of these once thriving community hubs. It's a sad reality that many neighborhoods have had to bid farewell to their beloved local pubs, losing not just a place to gather but also a piece of their history and identity.
wraps up our exploration of the former site of the Warstock pub in Birmingham. As we've seen, this area was once home to a vibrant pub culture, with numerous establishments dotting the landscape. However, times have changed, and many of these beloved local pubs have been lost, leaving behind only fading signs and memories. Here at the Joyful Adventure Audits channel, we're dedicated to preserving the stories and histories of these lost pubs. Our ongoing series, Lost Pubs of Birmingham, aims to shed light on the rich heritage of the city's pub scene and pay tribute to the establishments that have fallen victim to changing times. Through our videos, we hope to keep the memories of these pubs alive and remind viewers of the importance of cherishing and supporting the remaining local pubs in their communities. These establishments are not just places to grab a drink, they're gathering spots, cultural hubs, and repositories of local history and lore. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the Warstock Pub and our ongoing series, we invite you to subscribe to our channel, it's 100% free. By subscribing, you'll never miss an episode and can join us on our journey through Birmingham's pub history. Together, we can ensure that the stories of these lost pubs are never forgotten, and we can appreciate the significance of the pubs that continue to serve their communities. So, hit that subscribe button, and let's raise a virtual glass to the rich pub culture of Birmingham. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on my Urban Exploration channel. Today we're taking a walk down memory lane as we visit the site of the former Haven pub, once called the Mercury, on School Road in Yardley Wood. The Haven was built in 1929 by architect Holland W. Hobbes and closed its doors for good in 1997 before being demolished. It was one of many booming pubs in this area, but like so many others, eventually shut down. Hard times for pubs. Pubs have certainly seen hard times over the last few decades between various smoking bans, the rising cost of living, consumers drinking more cheap store-bought alcohol at home, and of course, the COVID pandemic with all its lockdowns and restrictions on social gatherings. Many historic pub buildings have been torn down as a result, completely erasing gathering places that had stood for generations. It's quite sad seeing grass and houses where people once met for drinks, darts, and lively conversation. Lost local pubs. Around Yardley Wood specifically, almost all the pubs are now gone besides a handful of holdouts. The Bagnell Arms, the Warstock, the Haven aka the Mercury, the Valley, and the Maypole have all been demolished. Even the Prince of Wales which just closed for good in 2020 is currently being demolished as I speak and will also soon be lost to time. The once bustling dog and partridge is still standing on Priory Road but has been reproposed as a church. And the only operating pubs left around Yardley Wood and some nearby surrounding areas seem to be the Horseshoe, the Lodge, DJ Quinn's formerly called Beans, and the Yardley Wood Social Club. While the physical buildings may be disappearing, I think it's important we preserve the memories, stories, and local history connected to these lost gathering spots. I'd love to hear any recollections, anecdotes, or see old photos from patrons of Yardley Woods bygone bars. Please comment below to share your experiences and help memorialize the pub heritage of this area. Unfortunately that wraps up our tour of the former site of the Haven pub here on School Road. As we've seen, it has sadly succumbed to the all-too-common fate of historic local pubs in Yardley Wood and surrounding areas. 
On this channel we are documenting the lost pubs of Birmingham and the wider West Midlands region. We have covered many vanished establishments so far. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the others in our Lost Pub series where we dive deeper into the history, community impacts, and memories of these closed bars. New videos released every week. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to stay up to date every time we upload. Subscribing is completely free and it really supports us to keep creating projects preserving the heritage places like the Haven. Thanks so much for watching and contributing memories if you have them in the comments below. This has been Joyful Adventure Audits on the Trace of Yardley Woods Bygone Watering Holes. See you next time. Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel exploring Birmingham's history and architecture. In today's video we're taking a closer look at the former Dog and Partridgey pub on Priory Road in Hall Green. This distinctive building has a fascinating history, so stick around. The former Dog and Partridgey public house at Priory Road in Hall Green is a remarkable heritage building that deserves greater attention. Built in 1929 and designed by architect J.P. Osborne, this Grade II listed building is an excellent example of domestic revival architecture. The exterior combines brown brick in Flemish bond with a hipped and gable-ended clay tile roof, architectural layout details. Although the interior has been much altered over the decades, some original decorative details remain, details. The Dog and Partridgey has a rich history reflecting Birmingham's pub heritage. While the building has been adapted for modern use, it still retains its essential historical character on the exterior. This makes it a fascinating example of an early 20th century public house that merits appreciation and protection. So did any of you used to drink at the Dog and Partridgey back in the day? I'd love to hear your memories or see old photos you might have of this classic Birmingham pub when it was still in operation. Please share your stories in the comments. Thanks for joining me today to explore the history of the Dog and Partridgey. I love profiling these old Birmingham pubs that have so much heritage and community significance. If you have suggestions for other lost or struggling pubs in the area that you'd like me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for leads on more of these historic watering holes to document. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos exploring lost and surviving pubs around Birmingham and the West Midlands. I also do pub walking tours and reviews of current pubs fighting to stay open. Is the traditional British local dying off or can it survive? Let me know what other historic pub content you'd like to see by subscribing and liking these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one where we'll dive into more Birmingham pub history. Urban Explorers, welcome back to another episode of Joyful Adventure Audits. Today, we're revisiting a site we've covered before, the abandoned Prince of Wales pub in Solihull Lodge. It's been nearly four years since this pub closed its doors, and plans for its demolition and redevelopment have been ongoing. Situated on the High Street Maypole Lane, the Prince of Wales pub has stood vacant and in a state of disrepair for years. Despite plans to demolish the building and construct a £9 million care home on the site, 
the structure still remains, blighted by vandalism and antisocial behavior. Last year, Solihull Council approved plans for the site's redevelopment, which includes flattening the decrepit pub and erecting a 72-bedroom care facility with amenities like a cinema room, hair salon, and even space for residents to keep livestock like pygmy goats and miniature cattle. Lost pubs of Birmingham. The Prince of Wales is just one example of the many pubs in and around Birmingham that have closed and been demolished in recent years. Establishments like the Bagnall Arms, the Warstock, the Haven, the Valley, and the Maypole have all met a similar fate, leaving only a handful of surviving pubs in the area. Now, let's take a closer look at the current state of the Prince of Wales public. As we approach the site, you can see the boarded up windows and graffiti covered walls evidence of the neglect and abuse this building has endured. We'll explore the exterior and share our thoughts on the proposed redevelopment plans. The Prince of Wales pub stands as a reminder of the changing landscape of Birmingham's pub culture. While its eventual demolition may be inevitable, we hope the new care home development will breathe life back into this corner of Solihull Lodge. Stay tuned for more updates on lost pubs and abandoned sites around the city.
Prince of Wales pub has a rich history dating back to 1890 when it was first built to serve as a local gathering spot for the Solihull Lodge community. Around 1930, the pub underwent renovations and became a beloved watering hole, featuring two distinct rooms with their own original bar counters. Fast forward to 2024, and the Prince of Wales stands abandoned, its doors closed for the last time after failing to reopen following the COVID-19 pandemic. But fear not, urban explorers. Plans approved by Solihull Council are underway to breathe new life into this historic building. The decrepit pub will be demolished to make way for a £9 million care home facility with 72 bedrooms, each with an ensuite wet room. But the development won't simply be a sterile medical institution. Residents will have access to amenities like a coffee room, cinema, hair and nail salon, and even spaces to grow fruits and vegetables and keep small livestock like pygmy goats and miniature cattle. While we'll bid farewell to the Prince of Wales pub, its redevelopment represents an exciting new chapter for this site in Solihull Lodge. We look forward to witnessing the transformation and sharing updates as the care home takes shape. Until next time, keep exploring the lost and abandoned corners of our city. This has been another adventure with Joyful Adventure Audits. Thank <music> you.